Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological moment and time for you. But I do feel like in many ways, it is this month that sets the stage for big changes coming up right around the corner. It is going to be next month that we are going to have a full moon in your sign early in the month and a new moon in your opposite sign. That is going to represent an important self-definition and redefinition for you, but also a new chapter where it comes to matters of heart and love and partnerships of all kinds. Now, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, but for now, I did want to put this month into context because much of what's happening now has to do with karmic closures, closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, knowing what has served its purpose in your life. And as part of this, also welcoming in karmic blessings that change you, that shift your energy on very deep levels. That certainly is the energy with you as you begin this month. And that is because it is going to be right around the 5th of July that we have a lunar eclipse. This lunar eclipse will bring an extended eclipse season to a close for now, but it also represents the final eclipse after a series that has been taking place for the last two years. And so this very part of the sky that has to do with clearing karmic way, well, that is visiting you now. Now, here's something else interesting to take into consideration. It is at the very beginning of this month that Saturn is going to retrograde out of your sign and move back to where he has been traveling through since the beginning of 2018. And this is this same part of the sky that we have this lunar eclipse taking place in, clearing the way for the new and the next. Now, this is your chance to make sure that you've done the inner work and your chance to reflect on what Saturn moving through your sign since the middle of March has been trying to teach you about yourself and how it is to best embody a more grown version of you. Now, I did speak a lot about this very topic in the Saturn special horoscope for your sign and for the sign just before. And so all of that is on my YouTube channel. But for now, let me say that this is a respite of sorts. It's a chance for you to understand where you are and where inner work needs to happen so that you can build the kind of future that is right around the corner for you. You've already glimpsed it, but committing to it more deeply, well, that is an inner process and inner work that allows you to embrace it that much more. All of that is part of the energy as you're entering this month and moving towards this very cleansing lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse is speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. And so I do think that this lunar eclipse also speaks to karmic blessings for you. Because Saturn is back here, the karmic blessing may involve work. It may involve dedication. However, the blessings certainly are there. And if it is that you work with homes or from homes, that's when you're tapping into Uranus that much more and able to take that much more advantage of this time. Now, as we navigate further, it is going to be right around the 20th of July that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is special for a few reasons. If you think back to last month, we had a new moon solar eclipse. So a solar eclipse is a new moon, but just a very powerful one. And it was at the very beginning of its respective sign. Now we are going to have this new moon in the same part of the sky, but towards the end and it is going to be standing across the sky with precision with Saturn and what this tells me is that you are evaluating matters of health and well-being and how you feel you are evaluating your work and how well you do it and how you feel about it you are evaluating your clients customers co-workers immediate supervisors people that you hire and looking where it is that changes or new chapters need to be had. If it is that there are new opportunities that show up that are work-related, 
there is a sense that you're very aware of what is going to be required, whether it is greater responsibility, greater time. You're very aware of where it is that some opportunities may feel like they're gonna to ask too much and where it is that you may have to be a little mindful of what you choose where it is that certain opportunities can set the stage for a more stable future and where it is that it just doesn't resonate. These topics can come to the surface at this new moon. In some ways, it is a continuation of last month's solar eclipse, but in many ways, it is a beginning that has roots, that has the ability to really take ground and move forward and grow forward strong from here. If it is that you are making any health related changes at this time, they too may be slow coming those changes, but they have the potential to stick around for a long time as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be at the end of this month that Venus will leave shadow. If you think back last month, Venus went direct late in the month, but now as Venus leaves shadow at the end of July on her way out is going to connect with Neptune. This is part of an ongoing dance that Neptune and Venus have been having. And of course, this Venus retrograde season has been taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with the romance and flirtation and what the heart truly desires. This is going to be a moment of heightened energy, heightened sensitivity, but might also represent some disappointment as well. And I'm so sorry to say that, but the great news is once Venus moves on and out of shadow, she's on much more solid ground for you to feel a greater sense of traction going forward from here. Now also whatever happens in the context of love late this month will in some way hearken to what was taking place for you way back if you think mid-May, that was the last time that Venus was exactly where she is towards the end of this month. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you may very well have a notable flirtation as you move towards the last week of this month. But do be a little bit careful. You are one of the signs that does need to be careful of things like catfishing, things like being presented uh, one thing, but the reality being something else. But for all that, this can be a time when your own emotions and your own heart is stirred. That is the gift now. As you learn about yourself in the context of love and start to learn how it is that you're going to carry forward and implement the larger lessons forward from here. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that there may be a moment in the last week of the month where you are looking at what has worked with this person, what hasn't where it has felt elusive, perhaps where it is that there's been some disappointment. But ultimately, this represents an important time for you to get clear about what part of you finds yourself drawn to this person and to get clear as to whether or not you want to move forward. If it is that you do move forward with this person now, chances are you're seeing things more practically. You're seeing things a little bit removed from the hopes and wishes that you had, and you're able to see them more clearly. Now that is where genuine connection can begin. And for those of you in an established bond, I do think that this can be a very dreamy time, a very hopeful time. There's a part of you that wants to see things very idealistically, but again, there might be a little bit of disappointment as we navigate late into the month, and I'm so sorry to say that. Now, part of that just might be you, what you had hoped, and the reality not matching up, even if it never did or wasn't meant to. But for all that, this can be energy that helps the two of you work through whatever hasn't worked in the past, looking at what expectations have been there, what disappointments have been there, as part of healing them, moving through them towards a greater bond. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. I am going to say I do love Saturn leaving your sign just because it does provide a respite. It does allow you to feel your own energy shift and calm down. Life sometimes feels less serious when Saturn leaves your sign and that can be a nice thing but we also have an abundance of karmic blessings with you in the early part of the month. 
let them show up for you let them rain on you because it is a moment like this and it is a time like this where some of the best stuff that's going to happen will just show up well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy